role of the internet in today in disaster? Today, the answer is social, but tomorrow, the future's gonna be mobile. You hate the social services that have a really bad Android or iPhone app. And I could mention Blackberry and Palm, but why? Let's, let's stick with the major market segments here. It's, it's, but that's the way it is, is people want the internet on their mobile device. Desktops are going away. I love my tower at home, but quite frankly, when it dies, I'm gonna have to sit there and look at my wife and justify why I've got this door, this big thing that can hold open a big door sitting there when instead I could just have a laptop. Heck, I get a tablet with a Bluetooth keyboard and save even more space. I mean, look at what y'all are typing your notes on. Half are on tablets. Uh, internet, IP-based phone systems. There is no priority service possible. It is just not possible the way the internet is designed today. So great, I have Fios in my house. That means I have IP all the way up to my house. So when something happens, I can pull out my GETS card, a little nod to the national communication system. GETS is your government emergency telecommunication system, which gives you priority on the landlines. But you also need a WPS to give you priority on the wireless service because that's two different systems. But neither of them work on, from my house because I have Fios, which is an IP-based phone system. So I only get priority from Verizon out to the phone company to where the phone call is being made, but I don't get priority service within Verizon because it's an IP-based phone system. Cell